would you vote for a cat to be your mayor? In 2012 this beautiful black and white cat ran for mayor of Halifax, Nova Scotia in Canada. How did it happen? In the 2010s, the situation with stray cats in Halifax was critical. More and more cats were born each year and more died on the streets. Shelters were overcrowded and couldn't possibly help everyone. Local activists and volunteers pleaded with officials to fund a stray animal sterilization program, but they fell on deaf ears. They have decided to run Stan the cat for mayor. Stan looked like a fine gentleman in an expensive suit. This is a candidate who is going to bring attention to animal issues, so why not start a political career? Like many politicians Stan had a pretty good start in life. His mother was a stray cat who was brought to the shelter when she was pregnant. And three weeks later she gave birth to four kittens. When Stan was two months old, he and his brother were adopted into his forever family. His owner was a famous author who loved animals. She already had three cats, two dogs, a guinea pig and lots of fish in her tank when Stan joined the family. So as part of a big family, Stan learned to fight for his interests, resolve conflicts, and persuade others. And he was pretty darn good at it. Stan was very lucky. He and his siblings were born in warmth, with proper medical care, surrounded by love. But not all cats are so lucky. Most don't make it to the first year. Local activists formed the Tuxedo Party and launched the campaign. As a good politician, Stan loved attention, posed for pictures, and always wore a suit. The Cat for Mayor campaign quickly went viral, and many people said they would vote for Stan and support his ideas because neglect doesn't work. People reposted Stan's posters and bought merchandise featuring him. The Tuxedo Cat toys were sold out almost immediately. Several celebrities also joined the campaign and began supporting Stan. Among them were Ellen DeGeneres and Anderson Cooper. Of course, Stan could not officially run for mayor because Canadian law required that the candidate have a birth certificate. But it was not all in vain. The activists' voices were finally heard. Elected officials subsequently approved $40,000 for a low-cost neuter clinic and $250,000 over five years for a trap, neuter, return program for stray cats. Great progress has been made with this program. There are still plenty of needy cats on the street, but there is no more explosion of homeless cats in the region. Animal shelters don't turn cats away anymore because there isn't enough space. And all shelters have a strict no-kill policy. Sadly Tuxedo Stan passed away in 2013 from kidney cancer. He was euthanized surrounded by his family, and people honored his memory by continuing all the hard work that Stan helped them achieve. The Tuxedo Party is still active and still fighting for animals in Canada. For example they fight against no pets rental policies. Having a pet greatly reduces a person's housing options, and often people are faced with the terrible choice of having a place to live or getting rid of a pet. Some landlords use no-pet policies as a way to evict tenants so they can get around the rent cap and raise the rent for the next tenant. Some people choose to live on the streets rather than abandon a beloved family member. Others are traumatized for life by being forced to give up their pet. It's just not right. We hope the Tuxedo Party wins this battle too. Because they are right, neglect does not work. Rest in peace Dan. Even though you were only with us for two and a half years, you touched the hearts of many and made the world a better place. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, where you will find many more interesting stories.